In January, we began enforcing our updated hateful conduct and harassment policy so we can better protect every community on Twitch. Today, we're shifting focus, talking more about how we are tackling misconduct that happens off Twitch. No way. No way. These are two categories of off-service misconduct. To be clear, this refers to incidents that happen on Twitch that we will act on. Off-service harassment related to an incident that took place on Twitch, for example, when we're reviewing a harassment report. Blah, blah. We'll also take into account verified related statements made on other social media services if they are reported to us. Off-service behavior unrelated to any specific incident on Twitch that poses substantial risk to the Twitch community. This includes egregious acts of hate and harm, including threats of mass violence, child grooming leadership, membership in a hate group, and more. Off-service investigations are significantly more complex, so we partnered with a third-party investigation law firm with immense experience in this area to ensure our off-Twitch investigations are as thorough and swift as possible. The huge step forward. Interesting. You can report off-service misconduct confidentially. <laughs> no way they have a fucking... <laughs> Take action against misconduct that occurs entirely off our services and you and a typical approach for both Twitch and the industry at large. But it's one we believe in here from you is actually crucial to get right. Oh my god. This guy, this guy, this guy is driving Twitch to the ground. Don't worry though, a girl did a two-handed pussy spread and only got banned for three days. <laughs> Chat, listen, I will be banned. Clip this, clip this, save it for whenever you guys want. One day I'll be banned on Twitch. I've been saying this for so long that one day I'll be banned on Twitch. And it's not for something I did on the platform. It's for something I tweeted. I've been saying this for months, chat. That's why Edwin came and freaked out. Clip this, bro. Remember this. Remember this for the day I'm banned on Twitch. That's why I'm expanding to other places. I don't want to always have to rely on this site. The day's coming, bro. I'm really good at avoiding Twitch TOS. But I, uh, uh, but the TOS I put on other sites is like, it's to their TOS. You know what I'm saying? Delete all tweets? No. I'm good. I'm not going to delete my... I'm not going to change the way I tweet, chat. I told you guys I'm on the internet to be me. To, to be able to crack the jokes I want to, you know? I'm not going to do that. I'll be banned one day. You can call it dumb. You can call it whatever. I just, I personally will not change to, to things like that. One day they'll get me. Did you get banned? Yeah, I'm currently banned on Twitch right now. Wait, so if you have an OnlyFans, you can technically get banned because that's nudity and it's not allowed? No, no, it's harassment. It's harassment is what they consider, but they can consider ha harassment even if it's not directed. All my tweets can be considered harassment. In January, we began enforcing our updated hateful conduct and harassment policy so we could better protect every community on Twitch. In case you missed it, the refresh policy features a clear and more consistent stance against hate and harassment. <laughs> Hashtag free Arab? Dude, I'm not even banned. <laughs> Today we're shifting focus and talking about how we plan to address severe misconduct that impacts the Twitch community but happens off Twitch. Our current guidelines state that in some serious cases where there is available verifiable evidence, look, available verifiable evidence, they're like adding more words that are so unnecessary just so that they're like legally, you know, they can tell people, yo, we this is a very, you know. We may take action against users for hateful conduct or harassment that occurs off Twitch services, meaning other social media, other online services, or even offline when directed at members of the Twitch community. Dude, if you have Twitch in your bio chat and someone harasses you, here's the problem. Let me tell you the problem with that. The problem with that is that, first of all, anything can be considered harassment with Twitch, anything. They have like a wide line of harassment, right? I, I tweet shit not at people, but I tweet shit that can be considered you know, racist jokes, uh, whatever jokes, sexist jokes, they can, Consider that hateful towards like one person someone whoever's modding that day could be like yo Arab you're banned. I'm telling you I'm gonna get banned on twitch. I'm gonna be banned on twitch It's not like me manifesting it like I don't I talk about this all the time one day like they're gonna switch their TOS And they did our current guidelines say that in some serious cases where there is available verifiable evidence We may take severe blah blah. We're updating and expanding our approach to off-service enforcement. Why do they it's just link after link? Oh my god Okay, so what are you not allowed to say? Twitch is committing to facilitating vibrant and dynamic communities. Look, like, vibrant and dynamic. Like, such an un- like, vibrant? Where would vibrant fit in here? They're just fucking- Which can only happen if our users feel secure and protected. In addition to our off-service hateful conduct and harassment policy, we believe that a occurrence of severe other offenses committed by Twitch users that may take place entirely off-service can create a substantial safety risk to the Twitch community. As a result, we will issue enforcement against irrelevant accounts up to an indefinite suspension on first offense for some behaviors, which can take place offline or on other internet services. Deadly violence and violent extremism. Okay, well, we're avoiding that. Terrorist activities? Ugh, 
fine. Explicit and or credible threats of mass violence. Press against a group of people, events, or location where people would gather. So, so let me tell you the problem with this line chat. Threats against a group of people, event, or location where people would gather. There's a difference between a threat and cracking a joke about somewhere where like it's clearly not a threat, right? Like, like you could say like, yo, what happened to the insert race, you know, or insert, you know, orientation. You could say that and then they would consider it a threat against people, you know, they would consider it a threat against that group of people because that's how Twitch works. Carrying out or deliberately acting as an, and you can't troll with your friends anymore saying, yo, like I'm gonna beat the shit out of you at LAN. It's slowly becoming YouTube. No, no, YouTube is much more free, bro. Carrying out deliberately acting as an accomplice to non-consensual sexual activities and or sexual assault. <gasps> Whoa. Wait, wait. Let me tell you what's weird about this one, chat. Let me tell you the problem with this. I think they would ban you if, if anyone writes a Google Doc about you, even if there's no official proof. You know what I'm saying? Like it's theoretically in, in, yeah, in scenario, it's not in like, you know, in front of your eyes, it's not a bad problem, but think. Because yeah, because realistically, exactly, it would be jail, Yenzi. So, but if somebody just accuses you, yeah, but Big Z, you know what they consider verifiable evidence? You know what they consider verifiable evidence? Come on, Big Z, you've seen social media, bro. Actions that would directly and explicitly compromise the physical safety of the Twitch community. <laughs> what? That's like the most vague thing. What does that mean? Explicit and or credible threats against Twitch, including Twitch staff. Limitations and acting on officers. Twitch has established the policy primarily to protect their safety of their users because of this person who have created out severe offenses and create a safety risk will be prohibited from using our service. However, in cases these behaviors have occurred in the distant past, users have gone through trusted rehabilitation process. <laughs> no, bro. No, dude. <laughs> this is like this is like when FaZe takes you to sensitivity training, dude. No way. <laughs> in cases, however, in cases where these behaviors have occurred in distant past, users have gone through a trusted rehabilitation process such as legally mandated time served in a corrections facility <gasps> dude so you can't if you cracked yo if you cracked like a like a joke eight years ago and your tweet is saved <gasps> you have to go through a legally mandated time served in a correction facility and our investigative process determines that there is no evidence to suggest that the user would cause any clear and present danger to the community we may decline to take action against the user or unsuspend their account based on an appeal. <gasps> so you're telling me I could do whatever I want as long as I hit the rehab. <laughs> no, dude. Who the fuck is running this shit? Well, you know, in the case that you were to, to be harassful to him, I'm not going to tell you who's the CEO of Twitch because I don't want it to come across as me being hateful because I'm not. I'm not going to harass Twitch staff. And so if there was the vague representation of, you know, I, I would just avoid that. So For particularly egregious offenses, the president's physical safety risk to the community. These suspension will not be eligible for appeal no matter how much time has elapsed. Whoa. What's considered harassment? Hateful conduct, promoting, glorifying, threatening, advocating violence, posting, uploading, otherwise sharing hateful images or symbols, including symbols of established hate groups. Using hateful slurs, either untargeted or direct towards another individual. The last certain words or terms which might otherwise violate our policy to be used in an empowering way or as terms that are near when such intent is clear. We also make exceptions for slurs in music and sing along to music. As long as the song itself is not hateful and the slurs are not combined without a discriminate. Wait. So I could sing... You should I could hard R it? If I'm singing a song with it? Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> yo, yo, but you can't tell me that wasn't a. <laughs> you can't tell me, bro. <laughs> if you know the song, you know. <laughs> okay, okay, let's go back to this. Category one: Someone is harassed on Twitch as well as off Twitch. When this happens, we'll take into account verifiable off-service behaviors or statements that relate to an incident that took place on Twitch. For example, if we're moving. We're reviewing a harassment report about an incident that happened live on stream or later or continued harassment on Twitter could be taken into account when reported to us. This is how our current off-service policy works in the vast majority of cases and will not change. Category 2 will now enforce against serious offenses that 
pose a substantially safety risk to the Twitch community, even if these actions occur entirely off Twitch. These behaviors represent some of the most egregious types of physical and psychological harm, but we understand that this list is not inclusive of all types of harassment and abuse. They had to say that. Oh my God, please. Thank God they said that. If they weren't being inclusive of all the... Oh my God, I have a fever. Be inclusive, chat, of every potential kind. All of it. Taking action, taking action against misconduct that occurs entirely off our service is a novel approach for both Twitch and the industry at large, but it's one we believe in here from you is crucial to get right. Part of that means being clear with you about the limitation of our policy. At this time, we're not able to investigate behaviors that occur entirely off Twitch that fall outside these categories. This is an iterative ongoing pro... Oh, they're going to go more. <gasps> they're going to go more. Yo, Caden's made a great point. Okay, mods, hear me out. He said, what if we ban Twitch first? Let's continue reading. Taking action against misconduct needs to occur entirely off our service is now available is now a novel approach for both Twitch staff and the industry at large. We only believe and hear from you. It's crucial to get this right, blah, blah, blah. Over time, they're going to build an ongoing process and always update it. Our end goal is to build a safer Twitch for everyone. While this policy is new, we have taken action historically against serious clear misconduct that took place off service, but until now, we didn't have an approach that scaled. Nice, good. We want to get bigger here, chat. Yeah. While this policy is new, we've taken action historically against serious clear misconduct that took place off service, but until now, we don't have an approach that's scaled. These investigations are vastly more complex and can take significant time and resources to resolve. We have access to the relevant data about activity that occurs on Twitch service, which enables us to investigate reports and enforce our policies. For behaviors that take place off Twitch, we must rely more heavily on law enforcement and other services to share relevant evidence before we can move forward. In order to be as thorough and efficient as possible in these situations, we bring on a highly regarded third-party investigative partner to support our internal team these investigations this partner is an experienced investigations law firm that is dedicated what do you guys want oh face cam to what there's nothing up there wouldn't it mean if you unlink your socials from twitch you would be safe you wouldn't grow your shit bro no that's not this they have deep expertise in these types of cases chat shut the fuck up this partner is an experienced investigations law firm that is dedicated to conducting independent workplace and campus investigations oh no including those related to sexual discrimination or assault. Fair. They have deep expertise in these types of cases as well as training and conducting investigations with respect and sensitivity to all parties involved. Sensitivity to all parties involved? Like what, bro? These partnerships will allow us to more thoroughly investigate and respond to reports of off-service misconduct. We've also increased the size of our internal law enforcement response team, which is extensively trained to manage sensitive confidential investigations and partner with law enforcement. Additionally, we've created a dedicated email address where anyone can report egregious off-service. Yeah, blah, blah. They have an email for it. Any info sent to this address will be treated as confidential and only shared with a very limited group within Twitch and our third-party investigative partner. Important to note that this is not intended to be a substitute of law enforcement or other safety process. We encourage reporting to the relevant legal authorities as the first step in the situation. Report other types of harmful or inappropriate behavior that occurs on Twitch. The best course of action is still to file a detailed report using Twitch reporting tool as a member of our safety team will review. Strong communities are built on trust and we are putting in place a rigorous process to enable us to conduct investigations thoroughly, equitably, no sensitivity will only take action there is evidence which may include links screenshots video of off twitter behavior interviews police filings or interactions that have been verified by our law enforcement response team or our third party investigators due to the sensitive nature of these issues we will share updates with the parties involved about the outcome of the investigation we will not share updates publicly given this we want to be clear about our policy and its limitations from the outset we understood that it may be frustrating but we've enlisted the support of these third party investigators to protect their rights confidentially and provide all those involved and to preserve the integrity of these investigations ultimately we are taking this step to better ensure that twitch is a safe inclusive diverse and positive environment as together we can make that's crazy i'm gonna be banned on this site chat i'm gonna be banned on this site no no it's not that's why i've ex that's why i've been expanding bro like let's be honest boys twitch is gonna ban me eventually there i'm not gonna limit my jokes on other platforms chat i'm not going to if I get banned, I get banned, you know? Fortunately, I've, you know, been saving everything that I've been making off Twitch. So if shit happens, you know, we got two years to figure it out. You know what I'm saying? We'll be fine. Not worth it? Nah, current, bro. That's not how that works. You don't, you don't police yourself on every other platform to, to make another platform happy about it. You know, they haven't, it's going to get worse and worse. It might not be that worse right now, you know? Acknowledge every other bits, baby. Imagine if you're a cop and someone from Twitch reaches out and asks you to investigate some streamer's tweet, right, bro? Like, how wild is that? You always got your degree. I'll never use that degree. Dude has a degree and isn't using it to his advantage. You really are dumb, huh? Why doesn't this new policy address other serious offenses? These cases can be complex to investigate and verify, particularly when they take place entirely off Twitch. So we focus on behaviors that have the greatest potential harm to our community. You, la you labeled all of them. 
Most services do not address these situations, so we need to incre incrementally establish the capabilities we learned from our initial launch. We're committed to finding ways to keep our community safe. Today's update is an important step in that ongoing body of work. We prioritize the most serious offenses that pose an immediate physical safety threat in order to ensure we are equipped to take action to impact on our community. We felt strongly that this is necessarily set to protect our community, but we want to ensure we're able to handle these cases thoroughly and effectively. How can you guarantee confidentiality? Our law enforcement response team is trained in ensuring appropriate confidentiality as our third party law investigative partners. Any information shared with this will be the limit to a very small specialized group who are trained professionals with expertise in handling sensitive material. Oh my God. I hope they wear gloves so they don't ruin the evidence. Basically, if you remove the bullshit that says, fuck the first amendment, you can't say shit anymore. Yeah, basically. Our law enforcement response team is trained to substantiate any evidence related to user reports and will only take action in case where we are third party law firm partners have been able to find a preponderance of evidence. When's the last time you heard that word chat? We will also suspend accounts for submitting large amounts of frivolous reports. <laughs> Bro, you think they sit there with a fucking thesis with a, with a thesaurus? You think they sit there with a thesaurus? Mar 300 bits, freedom of speech, lol, deleted. Fearful boys, fearful.